this is Lyle from the Pool Doctor down here at Roseville, Sydney, New South Wales, Australia. Today we're replacing the pool filter. We've got a big day ahead of us. It's going to be a lot of fun. It is the same as, if, as before, so you've got, um, so normal operation of course is a filter, yeah. okay. um, if you're doing backwash like I said, around the backwash two to three minutes is your normal um, operation time for that, yeah. um, and then you do the rinse for, it, it only needs to be 30 seconds to a minute. Yeah. Um, and then back to your filter. Um, the other ones, of course, you've got the waste, so you would just bypass in the tank just to drain some water. It's obviously pretty full from the rain. Yep. Yeah. Um, it depends how you do things. Like a lot of people just go, you may as well keep the excess water because it's not wasting it. Yep. Yeah. Uh, but if you want, because everything evaporates eventually. Eventually. Uh, but if you really wanted to, you just put it on waste. Yep. Yeah. And it just bypasses the tank. Yeah. So it's the same as. Recirculate would be, except that it's going to the drain. Yep. So recirculate. What does recirculate mean? Well, it simply comes into the filter, into the into the MPV, and then straight out. So it doesn't go through the tank. Right. So it's just. Yeah. It's just. Yeah. Yeah. Cycling. It's like water. A, a wheel spinning, not hitting the road. Exactly. Yep. So uh, that's it. So the only other one's closed, but you'll never use that. No, no that's for me. Um, and I'll never use it either. So there you go. Um, but yeah, so normal filter, and that's it. It'll ru it runs the same. It's not any different function-wise. Yep. Um, so just run it on your timer. Except and we're not doing this bloody thing with the. No, you don't need the the valve on the waistline because that that works. Yep. No issues with that. Yep. So that's it. I'm gonna leave it on for today. Yep. Uh, you still need to clean that, like I said the other yep. day, but that can be done. The booklet is there with the warranty information. Uh, like I said, it is a 10 year time guarantee, yep. um, one year on the valve. Yep. Um, you should get a minimum of five years on the valve. Yeah. Um, I'm talking, I haven't been for 10 years. Yep. But I have had to change it from time to time. It depends. Do you know this, this is wider, wider than than the old one. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So what the benefit and why we do this particular model, it's called the 602, um, is you've got a 50 mil valve. Okay, so okay. You, you notice I put uh, reducers in here as yep. it comes in. Yep. This valve is huge. Um, it's, just, it's the same size as your old one, but it again just creates or allows flow. So it's yep. not getting water, water chunked out of brick wall or those 
Yeah. 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 Should be quieter. Um, like I said, it would be more efficient. Yep. Um, it is smaller, like we said, um, yep. the actual diameter. Um, so in your case, uh, I mean, I would run the pool probably six to eight hours in winter. Yep. And ten to twelve in the summer. Yep. Just gets your water turnover. Um, and then uh, yeah, do the backwash every four weeks and or once a month, whatever you. The same thing, um, and then that's it. That's amazing. That was a really quick build. What, what yeah. time is it now? It's like that was two less hours. than less than two hours yeah, for two a complete hours. build. Yeah. Um, and so you've got a lot less plumbing that's going nowhere and all well, that legacy got plumbing. Proper flow, yeah, the way it should be with that. Um, so that should give you a better operation. No, it's not going to give you a better operation. Yeah. But it's the way it should be. Yeah. Um, it's not going to give you issues because, um, the, like I said, the gas will get trapped up in here because um, it can't get any further. Yep. So, so that the whole flow's just working just fine. Yeah. Now. In and out. Yeah. Simple system. The way I like it. I can't. Um, I can't believe how much quieter it is. Yeah. That seems really awesome. Yeah. Anything else I should know about this thing? No. That's, that's it. it. Yeah. It's good, simple design. Yeah. So just um, get the system going and yep. uh, that's basically it. Do you want to run it now? You can, like yep. the glue's fine now. Probably 20 pounds yep. since we've... Uh, What's, uh, what pressure on this... Uh, should it be? Should it be when I'm uh, ready for a backwash? Uh, I don't know the answer to that, but that's your clean pressure, so 80. Yeah. So, so I mean, we've, we've completely emptied everything out. Yeah. So our baseline is 80, and if, if it goes above that by 20 or 30, it's time for a backwash. I mean, if you get up to 150, you're, you're probably over. Yeah. Over time. Yeah. Um, you'll, you'll find that it's likely that it's probably not even going to uh, budge. It'll stick on 80, maybe get to 100. Yeah. Um, it's just flow. Yep. Um, but you'll still have a lot of crack in there. Yeah. How much better is it getting rid of those little tiny sticks and stuff like that? Um, the point is to have to make sure that, that get, gets cleaned out yeah. and the thing in the pool gets cleaned out. This, so the way that the glass is, you've got the coarse and the fine. Yep. Uh, I was mentioning to you before, the coarse stuff sits around the laterals in on the bottom, yep. so that you get better water flow down there. Yep. So cleaning it should technically be better as well. So yep. it's pushing the water back up through it. Yep. Um, to release everything from the the actual top of the sand bed. So the top of the sand is where it, it physically can't get down to the bottom. It it, it can, <coughs> and that's why it looks like that. Yep. Um, and it's probably like that because you're not maybe like the care wasn't there originally yeah yep. um because it it sits on the top and then it tries to get somewhere else you know yeah. what I mean? so it's gonna try it's and like get around the outside yeah yeah, yeah. um and they, they they these old ones they create what we call tubes or um or just tracks yeah um, and everything just gets compacted and it just the water makes it through the same track yeah. so the natural dirt gets through as well well that that field that you reckon was 20 years old i'd say it'd be close yeah 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 that's a long time yeah. for something to be running you know? yeah yeah um you don't necessarily have to use like filter cleaners or anything but they are a good thing it just yep. loosens all the body fats and stuff up. Yeah, uh, heard about body there. fats. Yeah. Um, you just you put it in through the skin. But you know, people that goes in there these days compared to when we were kids. Well, that's right. I mean, you could do it once every two years instead yep. of every year. Uh, most people do it either at the start of summer or the end of summer. Yep. Um, I probably would if it was for most of my ones that I do, and which is pretty irregular. Um, I do it before summer, so yep. it's ready to go. Yeah, yeah, that's right, because in winter time, you just yep. come to work. Yeah. But, like I said, if you're doing it every four weeks, you shouldn't have a problem. Be ahead of the game. Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. Okay. Don't create your own problems. <laughs> Good on you, Yeah, no worries.
I might give, get you to give me a hand and yep. pull that up to, up to the right. 